So you might have seen a PNY GPU for cheap and might be thinking about buying them. This video is about my opinion on PNY Accelerate and Gain World GPUs. Now you might be wondering where you're throwing Gain World in the mix. We'll talk about it shortly. So let's get started. Now, first off, PNY is an US based company and the name, if my research is correct, should mean Paris to New York, should be the acronym mostly because of their actually supply and uh, what they meant to be doing. Now, they have been making quadro cards for Nvidia for quite a while and they have been a pretty popular AIB partner for like OEMs and pre-built systems. So they have been in the game for a while. So just to point it off, no, it's not a Chinese company and yes, they have been in the game for quite a long time actually, longer than many other brands. That also means you can do quite a bit of research on the web and something that I, I have noticed, however, I don't have any kind of direct experience with it, I will point it out, is a lot of people are complaining about their support. Apparently, even if you just take off the warranty sticker or for example, if you mine with the GPU, they will try to refuse your warranty and in general, people complain about support. But I don't think this is generally an issue, especially for people like me who are in Europe, because here, when you buy a GPU, you generally deal with the retailer directly. So for example, if I buy it off Amazon, I will just send it back to Amazon. So it's not really gonna be a deal breaker, I think. Plus I just buy a lot of used graphic cards which are out of warranty anyway. So I don't usually value brand relationship that much as a PC flipper, as a PC builder. Now, my opinion on the GPUs. The PCBs, meaning the actual GPU with the die itself on it, is pretty good. They are not overclocking oriented GPUs. They are not great, but they are pretty good. Even their PNY Accelerate, so the, their top of the line uh, GPUs pretty much, I have had quite a few and they are again pretty good, but uh, if you use them on the air cooler that they sell it to you with, they're gonna be perfectly fine. If you're gonna be water cooling them and wanna overclock them super high, maybe there are better PCBs, but all in all, they are pretty good. Cooling design, well, we have to, of course, differentiate between the basic versions and the PNY slash gain world versions. Why am I saying slash gain world? Well, because if you look online and you search up a specific GPU and you look at the PNY slash accelerate model and the gain world, very often they share the same design. They are clearly made in the same factory. However, I don't know if it is like a sister brand or if they just sharing the cooler manufacturer. I honestly don't have any info on that. What I know is the exact same thermal design is on the two. So you can swap out the fans from a PNY and a gain world GPU perfectly fine. And you can also swap out thermal pads which is something I've done recently because I had a cooler break on me and I just put a gain world one on it. And they work off the get-go. They even have the same connectors. So that's interesting to note. So with that said, I will generalize when I talk about Accelerate, I am also referring about the gain world products very often, okay? Now, again, I don't know if they are technically the same company, but it's just something I noticed. So the standard PNY GPUs have a decent cooling solution. There, it's not great, but it will run the card. So especially if you get a non-power hungry GPU, you're gonna be happy. So if you buy like a PNY 3060, you're gonna be plenty happy. If you buy a PNY 3080, it's gonna run a bit hotter than usual. And this is where a lot of issues came about because with the mining craze, with the cryptocurrency craze, basically people run those cards hard, especially on the memory. And these coolers were a bit lackluster in that compartment. So people had to add extra heat sinks, extra fans on top of them to make the run properly. And I think this is also where a lot of complaints come from. The Accelerate cards are much better. And uh, actually I've had quite a few RTX 3070 Ti's specifically from Accelerate and they are great GPUs, okay? Because they share the cooler with the bigger models. So this is something that happened quite a bit, but not with every manufacturer. So if you saw my Zotac video, talking about Zotac. For example, the Zotac RTX 3070 Ti was terrible. So not in every manufacturer, the lower tier Ti card has a very good oversized cooler. Sometimes they just cut it back. So in this case, it's great. So I do definitely recommend the 3070 Ti PNY Accelerate if you wanna pick one up. And also I've tried a few of the 4000 series cards and so far they're all good. However, I did have some issues with the 3090s specifically from PNY Accelerate because I've had quite a few and the tunnel pads they use degrade quite fast and also you do need to change paste today. So if you bought a 3090 back in 2021, around that time, change the paste, please. And consider changing the tunnel pads. And if you wanna do that, the problems start because they don't use standard tunnel pads. The tunnel pad on the memory is 0.75 millimeters. So you have to buy a special brand. I bought a critical pad 
uh, 0.75 millimeters, but they are not available easily in Europe. So you have to order them. And uh, yeah, that's a note which I didn't like very much. Another thing they did is on the 3090, there is two iterations which look the same, but they have different sized cooler internal pads. We are talking millimeters of difference, but that means that when you go and replace it, you will have different thermal pads. So if you look online, what's the measurement for my thermal pads, you will just find wrong information. And uh, as you can tell by the way I'm narrating it, uh, I did just that and it wasn't fun. So that's also something I don't like too much, especially because they don't provide documentation on pad thickness and this kind of refresh. The 3090 runs decently, but I have to say it's not the best 3090 out there. If you saw my Inno 3D video, they make great RTX 3090s, but their fans were breaking. Well, I encountered the same issue on my PNY Accelerate RTX 3090. So I have to say the card was used in heavy workstation scenarios, but after a few years, the fans started to be noisy and they had to be either relubricated as I show in my tutorial or you had to just swap them out, which they're pretty cheap. So you can swap them out if you want, but you have to order them. They take a while to arrive. So maybe fixing the fan as I show would be the best option. It's on you, but that's an issue I encountered. Also still on the 3090, one I had was displaying signs of corrosion on the heatsink, which is not ideal, um, but that could also be due to where it was kept and how uh, the owner treated it. Again, I do recommend you guys clean your GPUs, even if you have to wash them. Uh, it's something I do recommend to keep them brand new. Last paragraph, I want to talk about performance, actual clocks, power limit, and driver support. Well, this is actually pretty good. When there was the resizable bar update, they dropped the update timely. That was not an issue. And the clocks out of the box are pretty much on par with most GPUs on the market. And in my opinion, the ones I've had were also clocking quite well out of the factory. So I say they have the same silicon quality as other manufacturing brands like Asus MSI. And actually, since, for example, MSI and Asus been their best models and call them OC, and so they select the best GPUs to make that. PNY, I say you have a fair chance at getting a very good binned GPU, even on a lower end model. So that's a very good bonus point, in my opinion. And with that said, I think that's all I can say about PNY, Accelerate and Gainworld as brands. So do let me know down below in the comments what you think about them, if you would buy them, and especially I'm very interested if you bought them and have any kind of story to tell me, please tell me. I'm very curious. And all in all, I do recommend them for the right price. Maybe be careful on the used market if you have to replace thermal pads, or if you think the card was used a bit too much, I would stay away from it. So hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>